Thomas Aquinas, the celebrated author of Catholicism's greatest work on philosophy, the Summa Theologica, sets the stage for nearly all Catholic reason when it comes to politics, social justice, and societal responsibility. At the center of it all is the concept of natural law. According to Aquinas, everything in the world is made by God and possesses a certain nature that defines what the being is in its essence. This nature is not only defined by a thing's appearance, but also by its inclinations and behaviors. This parallels Aristotle's term telos, covered in a previous video. This nature, imposed by God's governance at the time of a thing's creation, does not change with time. A mountain's purpose does not change as time moves on, its purpose is to be a mountain. Because of this eternal time frame, Aquinas referred to this as the eternal law. With eternal law, God governs his creations without the possibility that the law might be disobeyed. However, humans, God's greatest creation, are endowed with rationality and free will. This gives us the ability to act contrary to the eternal law, even though we are still subject to it. Because of this nuance, Aquinas refers the eternal law applied to humans as natural law. As the rule of measure for human behavior, Natural law provides the basis of morality and politics. The application of natural law in our lives comes from two complementary concepts, synteresis and conscience. Synteresis is the knowledge held by all people governing the moral requirements of human nature. Conscience is the application of this understanding to actions. An easy illustration can be found in the sin of adultery. By synteresis, we know that adultery is bad and contrary to natural law. Nobody has to tell us this. It is by conscience that we put this belief into action by avoiding near occasions of sin that would lead us to commit adultery. Natural law is made most apparent via our innate inclinations. These include avoiding danger, seeking to procreate, educating offspring, and learning the truth about God. However, Thomas Aquinas warns us against simply following every whim. Take marital relations as an example. One must realize that to pursue these outside of a certain context, that is, within marriage and open to procreation, is to pervert the natural law for our own means. By flippantly pursuing our own enjoyment, we deny marital relations purpose, strengthening marital bonds and creating children. Likewise, especially when voting, one must always consider natural law when making a decision. If you like this video, click here to subscribe. And be sure to use these to follow us on social media. We'll see you next week, and until that time, be not afraid.